Welcome back to Unstable TV and you're tuning into Irish Couple Reacts and do stay tuned because this happens every week. So if you're new to the channel don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and hit that bell notification and if you're a returning viewer thank you. Okay we are back with another reaction. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing today? You know? Well, it's the year that's in it. Yeah. We uh, you know, what's going on in the world <laughs> right now? We decided to look at the major epidemics and pandemics that have happened throughout history, really. Yeah. There's been a lot. And they do end. They don't last forever. Yeah. So, so a bit of hope at the end of the tunnel for everyone watching. Exactly. Exactly. It gets better. Yeah. So. Yeah, let's scare the living daylights out of ourselves and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dive right in here. Around the year 9000 BC, man gradually evolved from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle no. oh, to a relatively back. more sedentary one. In Mesopotamia initially, Mesopotamia. man begins to develop agriculture and livestock. This new proximity between animals and man facilitates the transmission of diseases to the latter. Food production increases, communities, villages and sense. cities grow, yeah. trade routes appear and the first wars take place. All this contributes to the spread of new contagious diseases. Although there aren't enough historical traces or documentation, the first epidemics probably take place at this time. Perhaps wow. even the first pandemics, that is, the spread of an epidemic among different people over large geographical that areas. Sense, Some yeah. religious texts and Egyptian papyri recount the first outbreak. Yeah, help us that somewhere. Mm -hmm. and the, the development of writing allows a Greek historian to document a pandemic around 430 BC. Known as the Plague of Athens, it is a disease that remains unidentified to this day. According to the story, and thus the Greek point of view, the illness emerges in Ethiopia, spreads in Egypt, Libya, and then throughout the Mediterranean basin. Athens is at war with Sparta and its allies. The city hosts many refugees and is under siege. Too densely populated and in poor hygienic conditions, the plague of Athens worsens and kills 25 to 30 percent of the population, which facilitates Spartan victory. Around the year 165, when the Mediterranean basin is dominated by the Roman Empire, the Antonine Plague appears, which is probably a smallpox pandemic. It starts in Mesopotamia and spreads rapidly westward following military travel patterns. Wow. The disease kills 5 million people out of the then global population of 200 to 250 million people. The Roman Empire wow. is hit hard. Other epidemics further weaken it over the following centuries, probably influencing the fall of the Western Roman Empire. Wow. In 541 begins the first known pandemic of bubonic plague, bubonic linked plague. to a bacteria infecting small mammals, mainly rats and their fleas. In some cases, the rat fleas bite humans and transmit bacteria to them. Sounds Once the infection bacteria. reaches the lungs, yeah. it becomes highly contagious between humans. According to recent studies, the plague of Justinian started in Central Asia and spread via land and sea trade routes to the Byzantine Empire. Wow. The capital Constantinople is badly affected. As it lies on a commercial crossroad, the disease spreads throughout the Mediterranean basin. All take is like Byzantine one military on troops engaged in the west or are contaminated, which halts the expansion yeah. of the empire. In Rome, Pope it's Pelagius II mm -hmm. succumbs to the disease. In Mesopotamia, the Byzantine and Sasanian empires, already severely affected by the pandemic, lose steam in war. This benefits the Arabs who start their Muslim conquests. The Sasanian empire collapses Arabs while the Byzantine empire is greatly reduced. The plague of Justinian claims yeah. between 30 and 100 million victims wow, over two centuries. Million. Wow. I didn't realize it was that much. Leprosy is a bacterial disease mentioned in texts dating back to antiquity. Probably native to East Africa, according to recent studies, it spreads through Egypt to Asia and Europe following trade routes. As Europe's population gets denser, it is likely that Crusades to Jerusalem accelerated the spread of leprosy on the continent. 
bad hygiene, lack of sewers, and poorly ventilated homes fosters transmission of this disease, which is otherwise not very contagious. The, the yeah. poor are the worst affected. Exclusion measures are taken against the sick. Lepers are considered already dead by the Catholic religion. Wow, that's they horrendous. are isolated in leper colonies, Since which can eat anything from a simple that's hut awful. on the edge of a village or a leprous area or sick room facilities in cities. Lepers end their lives in such confinements, completely isolated from the outside world. The Black Death. I think everyone else out there scale. The Black mm. Death is considered the second pandemic of bubonic plague. It originates in the steppes of Central Asia and spreads across the continent. On the shores of the Black Sea, warriors of the Golden Horde besiege the Genoese city of Kaffa. Weakened by the plague, they catapult their dead into the city to spread the disease. Rats Cow also them. likely further wow. contaminate the city. That's, um, After that's the a military failed, tactic. <laughs> 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 that's, a, that's a Spreading biological the warfare right there. The disease then that's spreads horrible. inland. Only regions of Poland, Romania, so and Hungary are spared. Wow, look how the far plague that manifests spreads. strongly in densely populated areas and disproportionately affects the poor, in the, middle the there, country that is and in those the living in uh, unsanitary conditions. Problem, I think. Doctors are overwhelmed. In a few years, the disease kills 200 million people worldwide, million. a little wow, less than lot. half the European population. The continent would take two centuries to recover its pre-pandemic demography. The Black Death is endemic, that is, it would locally resurface several times over the following centuries. Preventive measures are taken, especially in Venice, where ships have to wait 40 days before being able to enter the port. Wow. These are the first the quarantines, quaranta being the Italian word for the number 40. In Europe, the construction of new, more efficient vessels allows the Spanish and Portuguese to broaden exploration. With Christopher Columbus landing in America and Vasco da Gama opening a sea route to India yeah, through the Christopher African Columbus coast, America, exchanges what rapidly there. increased between people previously isolated from each other and with different immunity He's systems. People from the he old world plague. import yeah. along with them a dozen diseases still unknown in the new is. world. Wow. Smallpox proves particularly devastating for Native Americans. Epidemics decimate entire populations even before the arrival of European settlers. Conversely, a form of virulent syphilis, a sexually transmitted infection, uh -huh. is imported from America to Europe. Europe Furthermore, America America tropical diseases <laughs> such as fever and malaria caused by parasites spread around the world via carrier mosquitoes that accompany ships. Wow. Meanwhile, medicine continues to evolve in the face of the multiple disease outbreaks. <laughs> exactly. In 1768, an English exactly. apothecary mosquitoes named John with the <laughs> finds that people infected with cowpox, a disease <laughs> dangerous <laughs> to bovines but not <laughs> humans, <laughs> are protected from the smallpox virus. A few years later, the cowpox vaccine is injected into populations to counter smallpox, resulting in the first form of vaccine. The treatment would evolve and the smallpox disease would be eradicated over two centuries. One disease, the bouncer, another disease. That's some World War Z. Cholera is a bacterial infection that only affects the human species through the ingestion of contaminated food or water. The disease causes severe diarrhea, resulting in life-threatening dehydration. Wow. Oh, Without treatment, sense. half of those infected die within a few hours or days. What, a few the hours? disease spreads more rapidly in minute, densely eh? populated areas with yeah, poor hygienic conditions. The first cholera pandemic begins in 1817 <laughs> in the vicinity of <laughs> Bengal and spreads in Asia, Africa and to the gates of Europe. Five other cholera pandemics would break out over the following century and affect the entire world. In 1855, in the west of Yunnan, China, begins the third and last pandemic of bubonic plague. It spreads wow. slowly to the port city of Hong Kong, from where, long. in a few years, it, it spreads from oh, ships and ports around the whole world. But this time, French biologists and doctors discover the bacteria responsible for the disease and how rat fleas propagate it. A serum is created and rat extermination measures are taken on vessels which limits numbers mainly in developed countries. British India is still badly affected with around 10 million deaths while China million. has 2 million victims. Wow, that's awful. It's a bit different though. Yeah.
Influenza is an infectious disease that is difficult to contain because it is caused by four different strains of viruses that can quickly mutate and generate new epidemics. The first major flu pandemic, called the Russian flu, raged in 1889 and 1890 from the Eurasian steppes to the European and American continent. But it's the second major influenza outbreak, known as the Spanish flu, which proves to be the most devastating flu pandemic. Its origins still are known. It appears during World War I. In the United States, the virus mutates and becomes virulent. Wow. Transported by soldiers to Europe, this disease spreads through the globe as soon as World War I ends. A third of the world's population is infected and about 50 million people die from it. There would be That's two crazy. further flu pandemics causing approximately one million deaths each. Wow. The so-called Asian flu in 1957 and the Hong Kong pandemic in 1968. Wow. Originally from Central Africa, the AIDS virus spreads from chimpanzees to man due to hunting some 60 years earlier. The virus slowly reaches Leopoldville in the Belgian Congo, from where it spreads across river routes and railways all around the country and then across the continent. In 1964, the return of contaminated Haitian workers takes the disease to North America, especially in the United States from 1970. In 1983 in Paris, the Pasteur Institute identifies the HIV virus that causes AIDS, the disease that weakens the immune system and therefore facilitates the development of other infections. AIDS then infects people worldwide to qualify as a pandemic in 2005. Prevention, treatment and contraceptives help curb the today. disease but yeah. still results in about 30 million victims 40 million. in 30 years. Today, some 40 million people live with HIV. Wow. Oh, we're talking At situation. the end of 2019, the SARS-CoV-2 virus is probably transmitted from animals to humans and is first observed in Wuhan, China. Oh. With high levels of globalization, the new disease COVID-19 spreads rapidly around the world. On March 11, 2020, the World Health Organization declares it a pandemic. Oh, right now. Furthermore, exactly. despite major advances in medicine, other diseases still claim many victims. Plague is still rampant and reappears regularly. Wow. The last the epidemic in 2017 hey, hitting Madagascar and Seychelles. A seventh cholera pandemic has been underway since 1961 and still causes 100,000 global victims wow. each year, according to the WHO. That. There are under 3 million leprosy patients worldwide, while yeah. seasonal flu kills about 500,000 wow. people annually. Malaria claims as many victims each year, the Did vast majority no. being young children Malaria in sub-Saharan Africa. Poor and thing. remote populations remain the main victims of these epidemics and pandemics. That's it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, that's it. So what do you think of that? I was shocked the f at the fact that a lot of them are still here today. I thought leprosy was eradicated, did you? So did I. I thought a lot of them were eradicated. That's a bit scary. Just a bit. Um. Yeah, so that's fun. I didn't realise how long we were actually living through pandemics. Yeah, well they don't even have them documented as far as they'd like to. Yeah. Because obviously back in... Back in the day, you know. <laughs> Back in BC. <laughs> exactly, you couldn't exactly, you know, write things down or... Go on the internet. File it or whatever. But <laughs> As they said there, like, if we're out religious texts, we wouldn't have had most of the information we have. So that is an upside to religion, mm -hmm. whether you believe it or not. Yeah. Well, there is one big fact to take away. For anyone that's watching, even, like, if you're struggling with COVID or anything like that, Remember watching this, regardless of what the human race goes through, we always arrive out with bigger and stronger. Exactly. We always survive. Yeah, and nothing like that ever lasts forever. No. Either way, we'll always get back to reality. What do you think? Yeah, 100%. There was a lot of bad ones in there, but... Yeah, humans are still here today. Yeah. Thank you, monkeys. <laughs> and we can still keep going? Yeah, pretty much. What do you think was the... Well, obviously, living the current situation now yeah. is probably the worst of it. But 
well, the worst that we've known. Yeah. I d- wouldn't particularly. I'm not going to speak on. Oh, I wouldn't really fancy being living in during the um the Spanish flu or the Black Plague. To be fair, I am um, not. No. No. Because like, like I said, a lot of it was because of, you know, like no sewerage and no. Ventilation. Like, yeah, and yeah. like no hygiene and stuff like that. That's a big issue. Yeah. So I yeah. don't know. It's still a big issue in a lot of countries in the world now, which is horrible, ridiculous. But there's not really a lot we can do Deal. to help that. Not right now, but as we become bigger creators, which we eventually will, we're definitely gonna be going on this journey to help more oh, underprivileged people. One hundred percent. That's one thing we are doing when mm-hmm. we do get there. Because that's that's horrible for anyone to be still living through those conditions today. Oh, no, there's not there's literally no need for. No. There's no need for. But yeah. What more can we say? Like just that it gets better. Yeah. That's it, really. It always does. Mhm. Take from that what you will. And we will leave you <laughs> with that. <laughs> we'll leave you thinking and getting googling and. <laughs> Because I'll be giggling after this as well. We'll be researching it. Yeah. Like, half the, half the stuff we, we didn't know about this, let us know in the comments down below. Like, what what did you take away from it? Like, what, what parts did you see? Mm. Like, what really stood out to you? Because I didn't realise some people are still living with it today. Like No, like, the leprosy won't really shock me. I, I especially wasn't expecting to be in the millions either, so... Yeah, that's, that's a bit scary. Yeah, a little bit. And the amount of population it, it has weighed down. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's scary as well. And that will keep you up on night reading that. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, we're going to go off to scare ourselves a little bit more <laughs> now. <laughs> so, we will leave you with that. And Danielle's going to cut us out. So, as always, you were the beautiful people of YouTube. And we have been on Stable TV. So drop a comment below and let us know what you thought of this reaction video and if you have any other suggestions of what we should do let us know too. And as always we will see you in the next